You gotta be joking me, dude. Come on. I could just take all this off. There's literally so many Scooby-Doo DVDs. That is not fair. Welcome home, Rep Pack of Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator slash CEO of this channel does have her own stand-up routine. <laughs> But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon Brawl Camera Flip. The results are in. And the winner is... Red Team. Cha -cha -cha. It's about to get a whole lot brighter rep back because your boy is here. And today it's going to be a huge day because we are going to be doing one of your guys' favorite series on this channel. And that is thrift hunting. So hit the like button for that already. But not just that. Me and Mitchell were having a little bit of a brawl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, lower the intensity a little bit. It's a debate, I guess, a debate. But me and Mitchell are going to both be going thrifting today in our first ever thrifting versus series where we are both going to be going to different thrift stores, filming some clips for you beautiful people and seeing who can find the absolute best stuff for the collection. And whoever does a better job based off of looking for SpongeBob stuff, Nickelodeon stuff, Disney, Cartoon Network, 90s, 2000s, all the stuff that fits the vibe on this channel will take the prize as the thrifting. King! <laughs> Ryan added a cool title card there. But if you win, it's gonna be this one. The Thrifting King! Oh, come on. It's just, yeah, that's a Comic Sans font. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get the, the, the flames and stuff. Please don't be disappointed that I lost. <laughs> but <laughs> we are gonna be going to two different thrift stores. I've been saying for a while that we should go to this other thrift store in another town called Your Belinda. How can you lose in a place that is your Belinda? <laughs> I always wanted a Belinda. And you wanna go where? Old Arcadia. Oh, old our rich people Arcadia. I mean, why wouldn't you want to go to a place that sounds like an arcade? Dia. Because my thing is, is that we've been there, and yes, there are a lot of wealthy people in this area, but the thing is, is that they be donating a bunch of furniture. A place like your Belinda has got stuff for you and me. So why <laughs> would I not expect them to give away all the awesome SpongeBob merch? So today, guys, we're going to be doing this versus series. I'm going to be going to a closer town over here, hitting up a thrift store, which is the main thrift store we go to find a lot of awesome stuff that we pick up on this channel and see what I can find and then he's gonna be going to his store and see what he can find we're gonna bring it back here show each other what we got and you guys in the comments are gonna decide who won this episode of versus and if you guys do enjoy this versus episode make sure you guys hit the like button it'll probably be something that we do every now and then it won't be a series we do all the time just because we don't debate that much but today the gloves are on all right, guys, so well, let's go ahead and head into the car and start this first episode of Thrifting All-Star Brawl. Okay, so we are going to the first store, which is going to be my store. I figured we should get to that one first because that way there's like less chance of stuff being gone. And <laughs> no, reality is just because this one's actually closer. So we should check that one out first. Then after that, I'm going to drop Mitchell off at his store and he can tell us what he finds within those doors. Okay, guys, so we are in your Belinda. We got the savers down there. Me and Mitchell are debating if we've ever been here or not. I feel like we've never been here before, but maybe we'll have a better idea once we get I'm not going to lie. It looks like a little smaller than some of the other savers we've been to. So maybe I've made a bad decision, but I'm just hedging. Let's go ahead and get in there and see if we can find some awesome stuff to head into the store. The first thrift store. Okay, so this store is way smaller than I expected. This is probably not going to be our normal routine for sure. But they do have the bags over there. They do have the toys over here. So let's look around, see. They even have some DVD. It's a lot smaller than our section, but we're going to see. And then we're going to be heading to Arcadia. But I mean, off the bat here, we have the Woody right here. Not too bad. He's a little bit dingy. Though, so we're gonna hold out on him. I mean, this is perfect for you, though. It's a freaking minion. Right? That's a life size. That's such a good quality minion, too. That is creepy. Like, why is he such good quality? <laughs> <laughs> He's Universal Studios item, dude. That's actually it's a popcorn. Like a popcorn bucket yeah, bucket. that's not bad at all. It's asking eleven bucks though for it. I feel like it's like what two dollars less than the charge at the, the actual amusement park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna keep looking around, guys. See what we can find. We'll update you guys as we find stuff. All 
All right, so I'm looking at the board game section here. We are starting off rough. I found this guy right here, the SpongeBob clam fishing game, but it's like flipped around for one. You can tell it's super used. There's glitter in there. It does not look too great. So we're gonna leave this behind, but things are not looking good. I've looked at the toy section. I'm gonna look through it one more time. As of right now, the only thing I've seen is maybe a pickup. And this is this Yo Gabba Gabba dance mat where like you press on the button and it'll actually play music or something. But we don't even know if it works for sure. And it's like $5. So for right now, I guess I'll grab this just to have something for this store. And we're gonna keep looking, like I said, but as of right now, it's kind of rough. We still have the DVDs, the bags though. Probably should get a cart just in case, but as of right now, it doesn't seem like we need a cart. <laughs> So Mitchell found a wave board. I don't even know how you remember how to do that still. He's over here swimming through the savers. He doesn't give a damn. <laughs> Let me try it out. I don't know if I remember how to do it either. I probably look like a fool here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I, I never was that good at these though. I'm over here just riding something super dangerous with no right, brakes. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Whoa, drifting, drifting, <laughs> drifting. <laughs> These things are fun right. though, I love That's them. That's fun. Well, let's go move that back in. This is actually kind of sick. With the old Thomas. Yeah, like I'm not gonna get this, but this is dope. So you have the Thomas the train engine, which I think is to measure you, but then what is this over here? Maybe those are in like, I would say centimeters, but I don't even know. Yeah, this is inches over here. I don't know what this is over here to measure you. Maybe you guys in the comments will know, but that, if you're a Thomas fan, that's a great wall piece, you know? Yeah. Why didn't they have that for SpongeBob though? That's what we're looking for. And there's some decent stuff here, man. Don't dog my location out too much yet. This is a Doris truck. Oh. oh, we got the bikini bottom bus right yeah, here, yeah, you know, that's, that's sick. That we got the Flying Dutchman ship right here, <laughs> you know, that's pretty clean. There's some awesome SpongeBob stuff in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. We got a little red tar. You know, <laughs> red tar. <laughs> Gotta be something here, man. Come Squeaks on. or whatever from Toy Story. Yeah, there's, <laughs> a lot, there's a lot of goods in here. Come on, dude. there's gotta be something here. We got a little Zerg cut in here. You know why we didn't find nothing? Because I didn't do my freaking Ocean Man thing with the SpongeBob inside the car. Oh, okay. But good luck, mate. Ocean Man. Oh, wait here. There's Dora Dominoes, but again, we're going to leave these guys too because I mean, it's got the instructions in there, probably in there, but you know, if it's Dora, we're trying to look for like really key stuff. But maybe just the toys aren't it. Maybe we go over here, just the bags. Maybe we'll get lucky there. how we do the bags. I'm gonna find some bags. I only got one so far here. Why is it like when I'm doing this challenge, it's the worst thrift store ever? I don't know, but I'm hoping mine's uh, got a little better luck. <laughs> okay, we still haven't gone through everything yet, but the bags are gonna be a mystery. I got one little one right here though. It's an in sync, no strings attached bear here. Very 90s, super nostalgic. It's also but a, what, 6,000 out of, out of like 25,000? That's, <laughs> yeah. so, that's so limited. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a bear that has like boo boo browns all over it. It's basically been eating boo boo. But we got something. And this, this store is pricey too compared to the other ones. Like, dude, okay, this is a Care Bear. It's like kind of vintage. I was like, okay, this is a good find. I'm actually pretty hyped about it. It's got like glitter in the fur. It was at friggin' the store for $5.99. They're asking $7.50, dude. It's like, come on, dude. We know what we got. <laughs> and this Tracker, if you guys don't know, Tracker was actually my first collectible. I had this dog, his name was JJ, and I carried him around with me everywhere when I was a kid. Every time I see Tracker, I like to mention it. But man, this has been rough. We did find another bag that year. Don't show me so as a surprise. Sorry, I keep sorry. something in store because I ain't got much. Man, this has been rough. We did find almost, look at a two bags here, two bags. Usually we have like six of our store. Okay, so we are gonna go to the DVD section. We're gonna look throughout everything. I'm gonna look everywhere. Every little every inch. <laughs> Get something so I can have a competition here. Cause man, if your store is as bad as this one, that would be shocking, because I think if you find just anything decent, you'll probably beat this. <laughs> So we checked the DVDs too and everything, everything has been tough for me today. We have the Scooby-Doo and the Circus Monsters. I don't have this one, but it really is just like a compilation of other like circus themed episodes. I'm gonna take it though. And then we found iCarly with some boo-boo browns like wiped everywhere on it. That's the only thing here. I mean, there's like, what? Oh wait, it's not that. We got on the on, go Oswald. On the go Oswald, but looks like dog bit it up over here. Damn, this was not the best store decision. I just wanted to give it a chance because we hadn't been to this one. 
but you know what? I think I may have made the wrong choice, but it was not too soon. Maybe yours will suck even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. You gotta give it a chance. There's Yogi have a Gamma Super Spies. How much they want for that? I might take that one. Just take what I can get. We have Scooby Doo in the Arabian Nights, but it's pretty beat up. And on the, like I said, these shell covers, I'm trying to avoid if I can. You know, so I'm gonna leave this guy too, but we're looking for it. The big green. The, the VHS is, dude, it's like the art store has so much more when it comes to VHSs. I really am just really gonna appreciate for our store. Yeah. <laughs> I gave up on the DVDs when I found a copy, Idol. a copy of the first season of American Idol on DVD. I, I know I'm not finding nothing over here. Even the things that I thought I found. Dude, look at this Yo Gabba Gabba disc. Jeez. Does it show on camera? Yeah, there's like all these scratches right now. It's up like they here. were using it to, for rollerblades. Yeah. <laughs> that is unreal. There was a pizza cutter for a while. <laughs> and then the Scooby Doo one, you can see all the clues on this one. And <laughs> this was not as bad, but it's still pretty damn bad. I mean. Oh, oh dingy, yeah. I feel like I might have to just cut my losses here. We have to find. We have literally, where's our, you don't even know where our cart is. It's right here. Okay. We have to find some kind of Hail Mary. Like it had to be something incredible <laughs> to make up for this. This has been so tough. What if there's like a Nickelodeon collector in this area? That's why, but dude, Plunge Nature Pants, we don't have this for the chapter books. That is something. At least we found One some thing, at least. sponge. That is, I'm taking it, dude. That's not, may not be much, but I'll take that. So we have Sponge Nature Pants. I'm happy with that one. That, that's that's our only good find so far today. So let's keep it, let's keep working on it. See what else we can get. Oh, dude, I found a little vein right here. A little Look. vein of sponge? Look. Hey. Yeah, we don't have that one either. We don't have this one, dude. Come on. That's that's what I'm talking about. We're getting a little, a little bit of heat coming through here. Look at this stack, dude. That's not bad. Okay, this one just could seem better days, but the rest of these, look at that this stack. Dude, especially this one. We do not have this one. It's got some kinks in it, but don't we all? Oh, it's not that bad. I think it could be worse. It's got like a bubble. Oh, it's dang. Okay, well, this one's missing all its stickers. I'll take this. This is something, though. This is just something. Gotta grasp by whatever yeah. straws you get. <laughs> exactly. If we can find a better version of this down the line, I will take it. We'll replace this one out of the actual book because this one is rough, but this would be a good placeholder copy in the collection until we find a better copy of this. And we also found the Rocket Power, the cost of cool right here, too. So you can see she's got the glitter on her cheeks and everything like that. We don't have a lot of Rocket Power books, so another one I'll take. Shout out to our books. You weren't there for me my whole life, but you're here today. That's what matters, you know? I, well, actually, you were there for me. I just wasn't there for you, but I'm glad that I'm here for you now and you're here for me. <laughs> Shout out to the education system, for having some books. Look, dude, they have the M for Mike. We're looking what? over here for everything. Don't you know that our name's supposed to start with M's? Why'd you go with Mike? This is Mike's. Uh oh. <laughs> We're gonna look around and see if we can find anything in this bandit section. So far, it's nothing but the books. That, that's all we've got so far. <laughs> okay, this is a find. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's missing the fork that goes in here, though. It looks like it came with a sport or something. Uh, originally $20. Damn, that price is high, though. I feel like... That's a really cool Bubbles cup. I know. Bowl. Yeah, so obviously, as you can see, it's Cartoon Network here. It's like food gives me all the feels. This is a maybe for right now. A maybe. We'll hold on to it. If you don't see us, pick it up at the end, and then you know why. We're looking through the mugs to see if we get lucky over here. Dude, they have the KTLA team on your- Who wants this? <laughs> Do you want to see them in their veneered smiles every morning? That's <laughs> <laughs> just his photocopied it. Oh, it's signed! It's signed! <laughs> what the right. hell? Well, whichever one. Dude, I'm gonna get this. Oh my god. We didn't find much. I want to get this for just the fun of it. You know, you could take this home. I'm, I'm already covered in them. Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. And I'll just be taking this, this big V for victory. That's the weirdest letter you could have used. It's not a lot of double U, but you picked a V. <laughs> I don't, that's weird. It wasn't even a good joke, okay? <laughs> well, clearly, you need to just quit. You're ahead right now, but you know, I don't think you're going to find it. Wait, well, I'm not ahead, but to, to correct things, just quit. I'm not ahead. I found something and I'm still somehow behind. <laughs> I'm not even going to get this guy after all because it's so shot. We're going to grab what we did find. And this thing, like, if it had the spoon, I would get it. But for 10 bucks without the spoon, that's just not worth it. So we're going to leave this one. That was terrible. That was terrible. That is not fair. <laughs> this is, I feel like we went on the worst day possible or something. Okay, guys, we're going to check out where some of the stuff we got. At least we got a. Uh, you're not gonna find an autographed item at your store by Harry Delato. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. 
I have a bag. Why do I feel so defeated? <laughs> <laughs> this was so bad. We are never coming back to this one. Never. You know, that's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we will always go to our good, right and true local store. That one is so much better. I feel like even if we would have went there today, considering we've already been there, it would have been better than this. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a chance, your Belinda, but you can keep your Belinda. Okay, I don't want your Belinda. Your Belinda ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to Mitchell's store at Arcadia. Yeah. Let's see if we do any better. So it's gonna take us some time. Right now we're driving on Placenta. It's uh, Placentia. Placentia, whatever. Mitchell keeps trying to correct my grammar today. We're gonna see what we can do. Just because you might have found a better store than you can correct my grammar. Sit back, enjoy the ride, because we gotta drive all the way to Arcadia. It better be worth it. So we got the one in Arcadia. We're on our way in there right now. See that word Superstore? <laughs> this is so much bigger, it really is. <laughs> but I'm gonna be filming him this time, so this way we'll get to see what he ends up finding and see if his store ended up being a lot better. I have a feeling that it's, it's not like mine was hard to beat. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> let's go ahead and see what Mitch finds. I'm hopeful, but I'm, I, I'm excited to see what you find. I, I, I don't want to say, because I want you to find something good, but I also don't want you to. <laughs> What I will say is this one is way more crowded though. <laughs> so let's see if we get to the bag. It's looking kind of light though, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, no way. No way. Already off the start. Let's go. <laughs> it looks like he's missing like all of his stuff, but even just the fact that that's there is just like, what the hell? So we have the SpongeBob with the ketchup, and I think he should have a spatula and everything, but honestly, even just for a display piece, that is hard Look at to that. Beat. For only $4, what the hell? <laughs> All right, you can grab that guy because I mean it's not clean, but for the, even it's the displayability of it for that price isn't bad. We'll just put it up on the rafters. What the hell, man? This is so over. This is so ridiculous already. All right, so we're gonna look around. I'll check in with you guys when we find anything. We have a bunch of different stuff over here, but I never knew that Beanie Baby made kids. That is so strange. Like he, it Beanie Baby kids and that his name is Speck. Learning is so much fun to do. May I go to school with you? Not like that, you you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot come home with me either. That is so weird. So glad we picked this up with my mom at the flea market because this guy, they're asking $10. It comes with pretty much nothing. Like the controller, I guess, is like kind of there. And then you have, and then we'll look like a microphone maybe but it's really not that put together the one i got has both controllers and it's friggin fresh and it was only 15 or 20. i'm kind of glad you picked it up but it's interesting to see it here nonetheless you gotta be joking me dude come on I mean, look at that. I mean, what you just can't. Hell is I mean, look at this. I could just take all this off. There is literally so many Scooby Doo DVDs. That is not fair, dude. I'll help you out here. Like, like what this, the? This is just, I mean, is, look at this so this much. This is not fair. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is happening yeah. here? <laughs> How did I pick such a bad store the first time? What the hell, Mitchell? Dude, right, I have to grab. Dude, you listen to this one right here. Adventure Time, right here at the start. Oh my gosh, dude, the Bikini Bottom Adventures too. Dude, <laughs> Rugrats Halloween? Uh, this yeah, is look not. At this. This is, this is what is stuff. happening? Complete season four? Jealous. I'm super jealous. What in the <laughs> heck happened? <laughs> I should have picked the Arcadia one. All right, this is ridiculous. That's that's just my luck. The little nitpicks. Dude, lost in time. Nitpicks one. Nitpick one. Look at a little Christmas. Fear the Krabby Pe What is the <laughs> world? This, this is unbelievable. This is actually unreal. Like I'm set for life or <laughs> Dude, you're missing <laughs> these ones too. <laughs> what is this? Can, you can write this. I mean, dude. look at this. A little lost at sea. <laughs> you can. You can couldn't write this. This is so unbelievable. <laughs> you want some Bill Nileys? <laughs> that is, look at the stack you have of all these movies. You just have to realize how big the collection is to see this many that we and don't like this have. one's sealed. So it's like <laughs> that is so messed up, dude. <laughs> I swear you called somebody and said, bring them all to Arcadia. You had to have. So yeah. That's damn ridiculous and you know it. <laughs> Good old Rugrats oh, book. Oh, come on. <laughs> 
Where is the, the, the door for defeat? Where's the door for L's, for losers? I guess one over here. I'll go take that one over there, the loser door. Loser. Oh, wow, okay, so you have a Rugrats eat it first, ask questions later. We're gonna check out all of these DVDs and make sure the discs are okay, but these are all, most of them are new to the collection. There's a couple SpongeBob ones, but they're so, if they have a cleaner disc, we'll replace them with the ones we have in the collection. We're gonna check all of them out, but dude, I can't believe how many Scooby-Doo DVDs there actually were. Like, this is just unbelievable. Like, I can look at this all so day. Good. Another one, we still need this one. This one is so huge. Like yeah, because these are all all the Rugrats Halloween stuff on it. So many. I do not have, like I said, all of these I don't so have. So many good ones. And then you got the Mighty Joe Young. <laughs> <laughs> and a Rugrats book. This thing is like missing pieces, but like I said, like that's just insane already. Okay, so we can look through all the DVDs and we put some more of them back. And we got some, these are all ones that like, the disc are really decent shape. And then we also found this. I'm not gonna pick this up, but it's the Bear in the Big Blue's House live. I mean, I love Bear in the Big Blue House, but I really just like the show itself. Don't have any interest in seeing it live, but a really cool book I wanted to bring up. And I also didn't know that he is a Jim Henson property. And we still haven't even checked the bags over there yet. Like, we still have to check the bags. Uncharted territory. <laughs> Odie right here, and he's got his little tag still for the Garfield. So he just found Odie's from 1987, still sealed. We have that one in the collection, but it doesn't have the tag on it, dude. Grab it. This is literally something from the 80s. Let's check out the tag on it. A little wash. This is from Paws it. Incorporated. This is before, and yeah, this is easy. Just throw some freaking OxyClean on that. That thing's going to be fresh. That is unbelievable find. I might, if I can clean this one up enough i might get rid of mine and put this one in the collection <laughs> <laughs> so you guys know when we do the bags it's going to be a mystery mitchell can show you how many bags he finds that we'll drop them all in there and then it'll be a mystery when we get back to the cavern to see what we find okay so i think you're about done i mean i think he, he did he did okay you want to you want to borrow that for what digging your grave for your help <laughs> <laughs> that is ruthless <laughs> man find some scooby-doo dvds now he's just throw all the jokes at me though but you did a really good job though let's Let's go ahead and head back to the cavern. You guys will see everything that Mitch got. I think it's still debatable though, like who won? You know, it's, it's kind of like it's up in the air, but you guys are gonna be the deciding factor, so you guys could let me know. All right, so we're back. Here's my little skimpy bag. And then we got Mitchell's big beefy, and he, oh, oh, it's ripped because it was so heavy. So much stuff. Yeah, I do ripped it on purpose. Thank you, totally. I don't even remember what I got. Let's go ahead and see what we did get. So, how we do this, if you guys don't know, is it's going to be a win or a loss on the items. And whoever gets the most amount of wins, you know, that could probably be a, like another factor for you on your voting. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's up to you to see who wins. So, if you put Marcus, I will heart your comment. But, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so first off here, we have our bags. So, I'll show you all the bags first. Let me get everything out. And that's it. I got two bags. Okay. <laughs> that store suck. But, in the first bag here, I paid $4.49 because I was supposed to drive, I was looking for anything. Let's get Boo Boo Bear. Oh, oh man. man. You know you can never trust a bear that's got a tattoo on its butt. What are these supposed to say? Be a polar bear or a puppy? I don't even know. And why is the tag here? It's made by Tonka. And his name is Pound Puppy. <laughs> We're gonna just put him out to the side because he's kind of dingy. <laughs> but the next up, oh yes, we got a Joey Pajone in <laughs> sync bear. Bye bye. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> singing the song because it's copyrighted. <laughs> and, uh, you don't want me, baby, because I'm a bear, 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 bear. Mitchell lost and Marcus won. <laughs> Cross arm 90s pop pose. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a Joey in Sync Bear. They, I mean, come on, dude. You didn't get something limited edition like this. This is uh, Whoa. Yeah, and it says Trendsetter Baby. Trendsetter Bear. Rare Bears. If they tell you it's rare, most of the times it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is number 6,002 out of all 25,000 of those. Whoa. Yeah. 6,002, you're not gonna find 6,002 every day, okay? <laughs> so that's my first bag, not too great. Next up here, this one is actually kind of a decent one. That one's actually sick, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, let's say it again. That one is ice. <laughs> <laughs> that one is actually kind of sick. So right here we have a minty fresh ice bear. Ice bear deserves more than 349. I'm glad it's not though. But this brand, Miniso or Miniso, I'm not exactly sure. They are so freaking soft, and this one is not any different. Go ahead and feel that, dude. He is squishy. Oh, 
They're made in Japan, so they're really, really cute. And I mean, I was worried because Ice Bear's fur is so white. I was worried he's gonna be dirty, but I mean, nothing that's uncleanable on him. He's pretty minty. And he's got a really, really cute Blue Jays outfit here. I guess over here would be the Dodgers. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a light blue Dodgers. So for both bags, I'm gonna say for the Ice Bear 349, I think that's a win. Yeah, that's a win. Yeah, he's not that bad. I think that's a W. But for the Joey Fatone Bear and also the Pound Puppy, you can get a shot of the Pound Puppy again. That thing. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a loss. I'd agree, yeah. <laughs> you don't think the InSync Bear deserves more though? He was like a dollar by himself. <laughs> no, he's, no, he's just a bear. <laughs> no, he's just a bear with an NC cat. <laughs> All right, so now that we're done with the losses. There's one W in there. Yeah, so the next up here, we got this Yo Gabba Gabba mat. Today, we're going to do the DJ Lance dance. So everyone, get up. You take off this, because this is going to blow your mind. I mean, Yo Gabba Gabba stuff genuinely is pretty rare. So let's see if we can get this thing to work and see what we can actually make happen with this. Symbol's a little wild. What? You never seen a pentagram before? I have, but not a children's <laughs> product. It's not a pentagram, Mitchell. It's just a star when you're a kid and you don't know how to draw a star, so you just go like this to connect it. Yeah. <laughs> but it is kind of weird. What do you mean as a kid? That's all I know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so how does this work? Pretty sure it needs batteries. You would be right. All right, so let's see what kind of batteries this thing needs. All right, so the batteries weren't clean, but we can clean that out. We got Members Mark. Another situation with a battery no one's ever heard of. Never heard of it. Where? This is Sam's Club. That's still such a specific, like, why is it never Duracell or Energizer? I'm starting to think, are Energizer and Duracell doing okay? They're expensive. <laughs> because I never see those. I got some double A's and some knockoff ones too. What are these brands? <laughs> those are Dollar Tree. Oh, this might have been a big L. It doesn't even work. Hey. Oh, I tapped it and it worked. <laughs> that is sick right here. So, we put this down on the floor. Excuse you. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I might have that under the table just for when I do something cool. If you don't say nothing, I'll... Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> what does the yo Gabba Gabba symbol do? <laughs> Where's that in sync bear? <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Okay, let's just get him off the stage. That was crazy. Wild even. I'm starting to like the, the puppy pound a little more. <laughs> Alright, what else do we got here? Oh, and you can remix. I think I'm gonna just keep this under the table for a little soundboard. It was just... All right, so is that one a win or a loss? I think that's a win. Because it works, that's a win, yeah. It works, and it's kind of sick. If you really think about it. Like, you could have so many beats going on. Yeah, that's a win. Now for the <laughs> grail of a lifetime. The KTLA Channel 5 News Team signed by one of these four people on the cup. <laughs> that is incredible. So we are gonna look up who this is on the cup and find out which one this is. Because if it's that guy, I'm gonna lose it. If it's that guy, I'll be happy. If it's her, I'm gonna be ecstatic. And if it's her, then we win. So this is signed by the one and only Henry DiCarlo. And that is actually her. Oh, dang. So we both win? Is that what you did? <laughs> no, actually it's him. <laughs> so that guy, he signed this mug. Random. That's a W. How random though, just to find that. <laughs> Yeah, I got something signed by Steven Hillenburg, but... Oh, okay. I, see. <laughs> I got some stuff signed by Mr. Hillenburg, too. And it's all these books, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to hear that again? Books. <laughs> What's like we the DVDs? <laughs> okay, well, you do the you drop all the DVDs, you're going to break this damn table. <laughs> okay, so we got SpongeBob Nature Pants. So you have this Sponge Nature Pants where he is naked in this episode. Many of us have seen this episode. Signed by Steven Hillenburg, <laughs> as you can see right there. It says, hey, look, it actually has the theme song in there. I can't hear you. I said it actually has the theme song in there. Oh! No. <laughs> and then it actually has like, some pictures. Look at Fred's face. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I've been novelized? But that was a W for me because I'm trying to collect all of these Spongebob chapter books. I just think they're really, really cool. So I'm glad that we picked this one up. A nice find. And we also got a Rocket Power book. And this is chapter book number one hey. from Rocket Power. And we got Reggie hanging out with the cool girls. And you know cool girls back in the 90s and now back in 2023. Roller skate. <laughs> 
The pages are ice white though, like super crispy. This one's like it seems some 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 lung cancer. <laughs> Definitely not good for you. Do not smoke, kids. If you've already smoked, then you should consider working on that. But I know it. Life is life. That's what I'll say. But <laughs> it ruins your books, okay? It ruins your books. I don't know if that's what it is. It could just be because some of the other chapter books have kind of like the yellow pages. I remember some of them as a kid having kind of like that Gritty, vanilla, yeah, like vanilla flavor to them. A little grunge. Yeah, so let's go ahead and check this out. Look at Reggie hanging out with the girls. Is she so sick her shirt says Reggie on it? Dang. And she didn't even make that. She just found a shirt that said Reggie. And she's like, you know what? I'm not like you guys. I'm gonna go hang out with the crew. Get a big old fist bump. So, I mean, that was the book's okay condition, but you know, when you go to a store like your Belinda, you just take what you can get. <laughs> Next up, we have the Bubble Blowers Beware. I've gone through this book with you guys before. Some iconic movie moments in there. These boys won't make it two feet over the county line. How far is that? Five. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, a really, really cool book here. But this one we do not have in the collection. And this is actually, this particular artwork they've actually used in the SpongeBob Tops card game. So it's kind of cool to see they use this artwork over here too. It says, the art contest, no cheating allowed. Whoa, he knows how to paint, dude. Like this is, I think they used this one in an artwork for a card too. But I've never seen this artwork before. I've never seen this one right here. We've got the Mona Puff. And then we have this one over here too. Like this is actually beautiful. I would love to have these actual paintings for the cavern. Those are so freaking cool. That's Very a cool sense. book. I gotta say, I'm a fan of that one. All right, then we have the Great Snail Race, one of the most abusive Gary episodes. And then we have this one right here, SpongeBob Detective Pants, the case of the missing spatula. But unfortunately, this one did have stickers and it looks like it's missing most of the stickers. And hopefully the stickers aren't in, oh yeah, they are. Oh, they are absolutely in there. I was gonna say, hopefully the stickers aren't in the books, but hey, they kept the Krusty Krab key consistency. You only see the key like that one time and every other time they don't show it, but that's the coolest version of the Krusty Krab key. Okay. Okay, this is a big rip because the stickers are in the book. Oh, they, they were, I'm not leaving a single one. But you know what? Good for the kids for having fun. They did put them in the appropriate place. This totally would have been me as a kid. Like, oh, this got to go on the, on the grill because this is where the baddie should be. Oh man, they went crazy though. <laughs> And it does bring the book to life, at least. <laughs> yeah, and this kid was kind of smart. Like, they put the Goo Lagoon in the sand. Like, some kids would just put it upside down right here. Like, they actually kind of put some work into it. I'll give them credit for that. It's just not going to go in my collection like that. <laughs> 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 All right, so that's it. Let's get out Mitchell's stuff. So get into Mitchell's here. We got a very dingy SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Honestly, I got this one because, I mean, we put some stuff up in the rafters. It's just not really that great shape. He's missing his hat. He's missing his burger. He's missing his spatula. He's missing the buns. He's missing the dishes. This does work. Let's see if it even works. We put the batteries in there. I also get my batteries in there. You'll get a gabba thing. <laughs> so we got some batteries. It didn't come with a battery cover. Never do. Looking good. Hey, looking good. Check this out. You delicate little crabby patty. <laughs> That's, That's what I'm going to say to my first wife. Or I, that's my only wife, hopefully. <laughs> Not the my first, first wife. wife. <laughs> but when I get married, I'm going to call her a delicate little Krabby Patty. Does he say anything where his ketchup? No. Maybe the nose? Nope. So you got dishwasher sounds. You got grilling. With your tasty, juicy, scrumptious, warm, steamy goodness. <laughs> he just keeps going. That's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> I got to give it points for just the entertainment. Yeah. Value. That was worth it. Like, we're not probably going to put this on display nowhere, you know, because it's definitely gross, but just the audio of Tom Kenny. You delicate little Krabby Patty. <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, dude? That's from the episode with uh, Miss Gristlepuss. I like Krabby Patties, and you have to. And like, that means it can't be that old then. This is 2013. Oh, okay. Dude, the fact that SpongeBob got a product this big in 2013, that is awesome. Cause I was like, that's like season six or seven. I don't know exactly where, but it's a little bit later. Right, I'll pop it up on screen. If anybody sees one of these new or, you know, has one in their collection, I, I would definitely be interested in it. I would love to have one of these full size to add to the Galay Grub. That would be amazing to Just see. Just have like a little Krabby Patty on the grill. I know, I'll be able to every now and then hit the button and be like, check this, out. Say, check check this, this out. out. Or. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. But this one is not in great shape, but it still was a fun find. I'm gonna give you a W for it just because of the fact that it was like just entertainment value. All right, so usually we start with the bags, but th that was in the way a little bit, so we had to start with that. But let's go and get your bags out here. We got a couple here from Mitch. Said in the way as if it wasn't a good thing. 
<laughs> you have four bags. Neither of them were like super heavy in the bag. No, it was like pretty low on the bags this time. Usually we get like what, like six, seven? Yeah, and, and honestly the prices at ours are a little better. Some of them are like two, three dollars. So like you don't mind getting some bags. Maybe that aren't the best, but you just want to, it's worth trying it out. Yeah. But these were so expensive. It was like really had to select the right one. Can I get up here? <laughs> <laughs> so starting off with this one here, five dollars, 49 cents. Not a bad deal considering I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, pork chop from Doug Club Disney with the tag still on it. I do have pork chop in the collection somewhere, but I will now be exchanging it out with this one because this one has the tag on it. So I'm gonna give that one, I mean, this bag, you also got a squishmallow of a black whale. <laughs> I've seen black fish, you've been through enough. All right, so that's a W, I'm gonna give you a W for that. We're saving this one for last. So you got a W for this one. Next up, this one was 449. So inside of here, you got Marshall, which is, uh, I mean, uh, oh, dog, come on, man. Every time you take a loss, it ends up being a win. This is a light. Hey. So it's a little glow light. It needs batteries, though, and it's like those very specific batteries, uh, you know? Yeah, the little, like, watch batteries. <laughs> yeah, but that is kind of sick that it's a little light you could just have there. But not just that, you got this monkey thing. And the reason Mitchell told me to grab this bag was because it had this minion yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> you know you like that. It's like missing pieces. But his hips don't lie. Mitchell likes it. Then you got this really weird unicorn who's like, you can't tell if it's his eyes or the red dots <laughs> or are they the little black dots above it. I assume it's a black dot above it. And he's a light too. Hey. Who's also dead. Kids never turn these off. But the reason we picked it up is because there's a little Raichu Funko Pop. Yeah. But now that I've got it out, man, he has got a scraped up eye. He has seen better days. But I mean, it does kind of make for a still a good display piece. But I'm going to say probably a loss on that one. Yeah, I'd agree. It's a pretty substantial loss. because Like just... maybe it could be a draw for somebody, but I'm going to say substantially. Overall, overall, it's a loss. All right. The next up, we're 349. This one I think might be a win, but let's, let's not count it too quickly. We got this duck. This brand spanking new. Only at the 99 cent store for $1.49. That's already like a part of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this Scooby. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Oh, he's got some like Play-Doh on his head. See, you never see that stuff in the bag. We may be able to clean this up, but the reason why we grabbed it was because if you pull this string, he actually vibrates. Hey. <laughs> Which for certain plushies, like this one, doesn't make a lot of sense. But for this one, you know, it's like the bat is coming at him, so he's afraid of it. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Shaggy, let's go. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, until he's all like, Play-Doh on his neck, and then also <laughs> didn't work. All right, so over here, this is where you got a big W, though. So there is a show called Roly Poly Oly. Many of us grew up with Roly Poly Oly, and all the merchandise for that show is extremely hard to find, but not just that rare. For example, just simple action figures, especially the figure sets, can go for 30 to 40 bucks. Open, and right here, I spotted this one. I honestly thought about it, Mitchell. I was like, maybe I should just put this back. But I spotted it, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get it for him even though I, cause he did pick this store and inside of there is actually an Ollie figure. He's rolly poly -oly. he's small and smart and round. And it is kind of clean. Like there's no significant damage on it at all. And like I said, this may not seem like much to some people, but this is actually pretty rare. Like roly poly early merch as a, as a whole, it's just hard to find. So we're actually gonna uh, price this guy and see what he's actually worth just to see if it's a win or W. Usually we don't do that. It's all about the fun of it. But because this one's so specific, I think that's really gonna add some points to your, uh, your W here. I couldn't find the exact one, but you can see these two sold for $60. So let's just say on the rough side he's like 20. That's not bad if you're a collector of Roly Poly Oly and I definitely will probably be adding this in the Disney shelf because I don't have any Roly Poly Oly stuff besides like maybe a book or two just to have a little bit of representation of that show because I did grow up with it and it's made by applause so I gotta say uh, kind of a kind of a win there. I mean, There's a big win. We didn't even look at the rest of it but you already won on that one. You got what is that Litleo? <laughs> yeah. Along with like random batteries where do they get these toys? Like these toys that are just like non-licensed like randomness. We got one of the PJ and masks. 
the broken leg. We got Bob the recycler. And then we got a brown dog of some kind. Th th that's all L. He only saved it. <laughs> so, so far, I mean, you only got these two. Not too good. You know, I'm saving all your stuff for the end because I got way. the SpongeBob. Hey. Yeah, you got the SpongeBob. But then next up here, we have the Odie. And like I said, we have the Odie in the collection right now. Where's he at? You can see we do have the Odie in the collection right here, but they're both pretty clean. You know, like I paid like, I think like $20 for this one. So the fact that we got this one, actually this one's a little bit cleaner than mine is. You look at the top of it. So like, I would say maybe a W on this one because this one's a little bit cleaner and I paid $20 for this one. So I gotta say that's a W. All right, so now here's where he went crazy was the DVD. So you got one book and that is the Rugrats chapter book. Eat first, ask questions later. And I guess it's trivia right here. So in here you have the clean white pages and you have some Rugrats trivia. Do you think you're ready for many uh, Rugrats trivia? Oh, inside Cynthia's brain. That's fun. I don't think I would know a lot to be honest with you. Tommy, when he grows up, he would likely be on Explorer, a cowboy, or the president. Explorer? You looked over here at this little exploring Tommy. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> so a pretty interesting book for $4 though. $4. Oh, dang. $4. Damn. Oh, expensive book. <laughs> what do you think? This is your store. I'm gonna say for $4, that's probably an L. All right, now here's where the cake gets taken. Boom. Zay. The DVDs, you went crazy, Mitch. So first off, we found Harriet the Spy. Harriet M. Welch collects. <laughs> Secrets. What? Which is a little bit of a surprise one. We have this movie with the iconic box on screen. Almost everybody grew up with this movie in their house, but never watched it. <laughs> it's not a bad movie, but this one came with the slipcover version, which is the rare one of the two. And you can see it's got the iconic Nickelodeon orange tape right there, starring Rosie O'Donnell. Looks really, really clean. Even the logo on the side there. Everything looks really good on it. $1.49. That's a pretty good W, yeah. I'll take that all day. It will definitely be added to the VHS collection. That is a sick one. So you got Spongebob goes prehistoric. The disc was clean on that one. And this one ran us. Didn't actually have a price on it. What the hell? How did you pay for it? We said I did. <laughs> <laughs> No, I scanned another disc. Oh, okay. I was like, damn, Mitchell. <laughs> I know you were built like that. <laughs> but we got the SpongeBob Ghost Prehistoric, an iconic disc here. I gotta say, well, how much what did you what, how much did the disc you scan then? It was a dollar forty nine, I think. Oh, okay, at least you picked a cheap disc. <laughs> so that's a W. Like, and next on DVD we have the Rugrats Halloween special here. I'm gonna give that a W too because we don't have it in the collection. It has bonus episodes. It has, of course, the Christmas episode, along with four bonus episodes, including the Ghost Stories. Ghost Stories is actually one where they collab with all real monsters. Uh, th there's a yummy chocolate pudding downstairs in the kitchen. Hmm, chocolate pudding or babies. That's a huge W right there. Big L for this one. Hey. The Mighty Joe Young movie. Mitchell's obsessed with Mighty Joe Young for some reason. And it's, <laughs> and it's sealed. A sealed copy because obviously no one would ever open this. Okay. <laughs> Put that to Mitchell right there. Then we have the Tide and Seek right here. That one came with the disc and the insert. Which I, my copy doesn't have the insert. But I think my box might be a little cleaner maybe. So I'm going to take this insert out for sure. But 10 episodes. I mean it's hard to beat that one. It's got audio commentary, storyboard behind the scenes, and includes Spongerama and Laugh Your Pants Off videos. We have the Nick Picks Volume 1. There was Nick Picks Volume 1, 2, and 3, and this is one we did not have in the collection, so now we're able to add Nick Picks Volume 1. And it has episodes from All Grown Up, it's got My Life is a Teenage Robot, and also Jimmy Neutron, and let's check it out inside. It also came with the insert, which is huge, and a very awesome disc there you can see as well. I love that disc so much. Uh, so the SpongeBob watching the movie, which is actually the background shot of the SpongeBob TV when you turn it on. And there's no bonus features in this one, but still a very awesome one to find here. W again. Oh yeah, all day. Next up we have Friend or Foe, which dude, I literally bought this. I bought this like two months ago because I didn't have it in the collection. And now we have an even cleaner version than mine, <laughs> I think, for only $3. This one I got for the disc. This one is pretty messed up, but we're still gonna count this as a W. Does it have the insert? Oh, yes, it does. My Mine does not have the insert. The box on mine is super clean, but it's missing the insert. And the disc on this one is pretty clean too. And look what it's advertising right here. It's actually got the Nick 
takes one advertised right here. <laughs> so now for the Scooby stuff, which is huge. If you guys don't know, I'm trying to create a Scooby collection to where I can watch any Scooby movie, any Scooby episode whenever I need to or want to. And some of these are huge because I do not have them in the collection at all, nor have I seen them. Damn. I have never seen Frank and Creepy and at all. And a couple of them are sealed, so. Yeah, this is sealed. The sealed copy, so you know it's gonna be mint the disc. It has two episodes, including Gag of the Galloping Ghost and To Switch a Witch. But more importantly, this is a movie where it seems like Velma or like somebody related to Velma is the actual villain. So I'm really interested to watch this one. Honestly, before that, I will be watching this one. The Scooby-Doo <laughs> WrestleMania original movie. With John Cena. Yeah, it's got Triple H in it and John freaking Cena. That was amazing. Cena amazing. How'd you know where we were? Daphne texted me. Yeah, for a second, I thought Scooby was standing by himself <laughs> because he, you can't see him. You know that. But man, look at that hundred million dollar smile. I literally told Mitchell in the car. I'm like, I'm going to watch this this weekend because I love watching the Scooby-Doo films. And I've been looking out for this one for a while. Dude, look, it even has a Scooby-Doo version of Vince McMahon. Oh, dang. <laughs> that's a big W. But let's put the sealed one separate because that's just crazy. Next up, we have the Monster Manatee. This is from What's New Scooby-Doo. It has the What's New Scooby-Doo Halloween episode. Episodes. That's why I grabbed this one because my goal isn't to get all of the What's New Scooby-Doo episodes in particular because I hope that one day they're going to make a complete series. But I also think that this one is the one that has the episode with Ryan Sheckler in it. So that is a really cool one to pick up here. And then Mystery Incorporated Season 1, probably the best iteration for a lot of people of the Scooby-Doo gang other than the original. And this has the first volume of Season 1. So I mean, you collect these little volumes, you'll have the entire series. And I don't have the complete series quite yet. So this is a little something at least into the collection for that and that is sealed as well and my favorite of the sealed ones with the slip cover and a digital ultraviolet copy if you want it is a scooby-doo moon monster madness that is dope like look at their outfits their outfits are so damn sick and you got scooby putting a slice of pizza on the moon with a bite in it <laughs> Oh, Fred's just in the mystery machine. <laughs> He's always there. He's always in the mystery machine. And again, another movie in the collection we don't currently have. So that was a huge contribution towards that, Mitchell. So I'm going to give all those W's. Just a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> you did pick the better store. And I will never be going to your building again. As I said. <laughs> so next time we do these searches, how we're going to do this is we are going to take all of the thrift stores as a whole. And we will both select one store that we feel like in our thrifting hearts will have the best stuff. And we're going to go to your store you pick and I'm gonna go to my store I pick and neither of us is picking your blend I think no but with Mitchell's bag and my bag now being empty that is actually it I mean you really killed it you killed it I mean the DVDs were kind of like our cartoon miracle they came through and as far as everything I mean I say the best disc for the Nickelodeon categories were these three right here and being able to find Harriet the Spy with the slip cover both the Halloween and the Nick picks one huge and I don't think there's any questions the Scooby-Doo WrestleMania yeah. That is the number one. Obviously, these sealed two movies, too, for sure. But honestly, I don't know if I want to open them or if I want to just keep them sealed. Because I want to see both those movies, but maybe we'll be able to find them open, you know? Yeah, probably. Just to keep these ones as the collection, you know, for the collectible factor of them. But man, I can't wait to watch this one this weekend. This whole video was worth it just so I can watch this DVD this weekend. I am hyped for it. You know, order a little Scooby-Doo pizza. Hey. Throw on Scooby-Doo WrestleMania. And that is what the definition of comfort cartoons is all about. So, with that that being said, we got everything here. We're gonna do a scan it. Assume to see mostly Mitchell stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know the drill. Scan it. So adding all the books into the collection, I did try to clean them up the best that I could. This one came out pretty good. This one's not in the greatest shape ever. There's actually a big tear back here. But our hope is, is that eventually we can find another one of these. As always, if we can find another one, we're going to swap it out with a better version. And if we look at the back here, I mean, I can say that we have this one, this one, this one. We don't have this one. We don't have this one. We have this one, this one. Don't have this one, this one. Don't have this one, and don't have this one. So there's still a lot out there for us to find, for sure. Especially when it comes to this particular series and for the nature pants we're gonna add this one in too let's start with that one because we have all of these different spongebob chapter books right here like i said i really want to get all of these guys some of them have numbers like we have the chapter book one with t at the tree dome then you have hall monitor new student starfish all the different ones but some have the chapter on them and some of them don't so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here with this mix of different chapter books here and i think it's like maybe safe to say that the pages start out white and they end up like that because some of them are white it's weird yeah some of them are white and some of them are like very 
very, very brown. So I think it's just depending on the storage situation. So if we ever get like ones that have a more white look to them, then we could obviously swap those ones out. That's why we're always on the hunt. And sometimes you'll see me pick up multiples of stuff. For example, our DVDs today, I'm always gonna pick this one up and check it out and see, cause you know, it might have the insert versus the one that we have in that doesn't have the insert. And if I don't need it, we can always pass it over to another collector that needs it in their collection. So for this guy, let's go ahead and add it in right here with the rest of these style books. And for our SpongeBob chapter book, we're gonna add that in with the rest of them as you guys saw right in here. And then we have the Rugrats Eat First and also we have the Rocket Power book right here. Again, the Rocket Power one's not in the best shape ever. The Rugrats one is a little bit better. So let's go ahead and add them in here though. And it looks like it's gonna fit in right here perfectly with our Wild Thornberries book. So let's go ahead and put them in right there. Boom, we got those all loaded in. All right, sweet. So we gotta add all the books into the collection. Okay, so we're cleaning the disc and adding stuff in. We're gonna be adding in Tide and Seek, which I do have this one in the vault, but now we can actually have one viewable here in the actual cavern too, which I have to go about and making sure we have every single disc in there because I was actually baffled that we didn't have this one in here. And then also Nick picks one we're adding in there. Fear of a Krabby Patty we're adding in there. Definitely got to get the better box out of the vault for this one because I want to have all of these discs available here. We did not have the bookshelf when I put a lot of DVDs in there. So I'm so glad now that we're going to be able to add every single one in here. And then for Friend or Foe, I do have two copies here of Friend or Foe, but if you look at them to me, this one's got denting and stuff. This one's a little good, but it's a little bit more like foggy. I think this one looks the more vibrant of the of the three, if you ask me. What do you think? This one for sure. Yeah, so we're gonna go with this one, which is the new one we just got. These two are coming out. And let's check the disc out on this. The disc is not too bad, but let's check out the disc on the other ones. Oh yeah, the disc on the second one is way cleaner though. Hey. So the disc from this one is going in to this one. And we also have the cleaner box. So now we're using, this is kind of what we do here to kind of solidify the best version of it. So we have this one now in the collection. All right, so Harry the Spy, we're gonna add in with the VHSs, fits in there real good. And then for the Rugrats, it's gonna be going in our Nickelodeon variety section right here. Which again, guys, some of these discs are gonna be cleaned out eventually, like our, for example, season two, part one of Danny Phantom. We have the complete series right here. So this doesn't necessarily need to go in here, but it is sealed. So of course, it'll be going in the expanded collection, but we just wanna have everything watchable and for access over here. So this may look like it's getting full, but there's actually a lot of disc in here that we could swap out for other stuff within time. All right, so for Pork Chop, we do have him in the collection, but this is the Disney Store exclusive version, but he does need to be cleaned up a little bit. So honestly, I'm gonna actually take in the Disney Club exclusive and that store exclusive was a lie because this is exactly the same place. <laughs> so we're gonna add that one in there instead and he's gonna be coming on out of the collection. Okay, so now we're here with the Scooby collection. You guys will see some stuff has kind of moved around right now because I pulled out all of our Scooby-Doo DVDs and I've been putting them in these protectors right here, these little Mylar kind of cases. You know, they're very flexible, but at the same time, when you're moving all these discs around all the time, I'm slowly trying to add some of the more minty boxes. I'm gonna be doing this with the Nick collection as well too, but it's gonna take a lot longer. So I'm gonna have to try to put some of the more minty boxes in these because when you're just moving them in and out, grabbing them every day, moving them to add new ones to the collection, they get scraped up. So these will kind of help from that scraping happening. And of course you still have to be gentle with them, but it's gonna help to preserve their condition and also keep, you know, debris, dust, and all that stuff from getting on them. And all this whole stack is all Scooby do films. This over here is a couple episode series. You have the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo complete series. We got the pup name Scooby-Doo in there. And then a couple like, you know, different Where Are You discs that are in here as well too that we didn't have over here. But I wanted to put all the movies in one stack so we could just see how many Scooby-Doo films we already have. And now we are adding three brand new ones. I do have to clean these ones and I'm also going to be adding them into these same type of protectors. So that is another three brand new films to add to the collection. That's super satisfying. Alright, and for Ollie, we're going to be adding it under our Mixed variety Disney shop. You guys have seen I've added Shigo on here. I've also added in Ron, who is very unfortunately named Stoppable. And then we're gonna add in Oli in here too. And we also have Phineas and Ferb in there too. So it's kind of like a Disney animated series type of shelf with the Gravity Falls book. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for here. In addition to just awesomeness like the Piston Cup. Yeah, if you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. That was sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's a perfect addition here in the collection. Only in a little bit of like a, a small little accent piece, which is what we really aim for this, the Disney shelf. There's too much stuff to collect. Just small little accents that kind of represent all the different shows that we grew up on. So guys, that is actually it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of the Thrifting All-Stars Brawl, let me know down below. If you guys aren't already, make sure you guys go check out Patreon. It's the number one way to check out the channel and I appreciate it. 
appreciate it so much. It helps us do all the things we do over here and hopefully expand even more. And for as little as $5, you'll be getting a personal video message from me to you and you can have that towards whatever you want. Could be a birthday wish or just something for fun. And there's a bunch of additional perks as well, including an extended version of this video and also every other video we upload. So if you enjoy comfort cartoons, there's way more of it over there on Patreon. So go check it out. And we're also on whatnot two days a week on Wednesdays and Friday, where you get $15 off your first purchase. Whereas for some items like many we found today, you can get them from absolutely free or for a deep, deep discount. So take advantage of that free $15. There's so many awesome collectibles on whatnot to check out. So I'll have that link down below as well. I'll see you guys over here in this last epic video I know you're going to enjoy. And as always, Rat Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.